Hey, my name is Marco. I'm a pro opera singer turned voice actor. I love talking about video game music from an emotional perspective. And today we're listening to more Elden Ring, Shadow of the Air Tree, Bale the Dread. I wonder what this will sound like. Oh, interesting mix there in the cello and the the low breath. Uh, so, so this to me, Bale the Dread is the first one of the soundtrack that I've listened to that has been truly antagonistic towards us as a player. Like whatever is happening here with Bale, Bale is is the is the the first of these characters to really, really, really want us dead. There's a real sense here that Bale is just a very bad person and that that like we are essentially like almost getting in the way of something that they have to do but the, what they have to do is very bad now I, I don't know the specifics on that but it almost feels like because of the rhythmic intensity in here uh, really throughout the entire thing but really even let's even at the first 20 seconds listen to this Like that to me screams, you think you're going to get in my way? I don't think that that's possible. You know what I mean? Like you will not get in my way. Nothing is getting in my way. I have a, I am going to accomplish this thing. And uh, this thing is obviously very malicious and very, uh, uh, you know, it, agitated because of the way that the rhythm plays and also these big cymbal crashes here around 19 seconds there's a real thrust in this of 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 of, of vitriol he, he is an average day on twitter you know what i mean there there's a real brutality in this there's a there's a violence uh, sonorally in that of the strings especially but there is a little bit of weird grace in that in that it's probably like a fallen knight or something or i, I don't know but they're, they're, because of the way that the strings the elegance it has like a little bit of a bachian uh style in it like i think there's something in there that would say this was like a fallen a fallen from grace dude if that makes sense uh, really, really interesting music. Let me listen. Yeah, here too, here too, the big heavy use of the brass and the drums is really, really rough in terms of like, nothing will get in the way of, of like following through on a specific thing that is very bad. I'm curious about this lower string thing. Well, that's a big tonal shift.
because of the violin and the cello that appears several times in this, it almost feels like there is a connection to another character where there was some sort of loyalty that existed at one point, but then that loyalty has been severed because of the brutality. So it's interesting that we're getting callbacks to that. that it's not a cello. The viola and the, I guess the low bass there. there. There does seem to be this correlation between that. And it's almost like Bale... We had had some sort of a relationship that was severed. But the second half is really interesting to me because it sort of deviates from the intensity until it doesn't. And it really does feel like Bale has like two distinct forms or two distinct phases. It almost feels like Bale has the one sort of almost proper version of himself. Right. And then as things shift and he, he sort of sheds that skin, if you will... And he becomes this second version of himself, maybe the true version, which is there's there's a bit of like hiding behind a mask and then removing that mask and saying, this is really me and you will die now. I don't know. I find that really intriguing. I mean, it, it, it was interesting because I expected just a more hyped up version of what I first heard. And, and it's different actually. And, and it, it, it almost felt like it was ethereal for a second. Like, like it was almost cosmic. Um, it's really interesting. I mean, yeah, I think I, I, I dug this. I really like the brutality in it. Uh, certainly in the last minute or so, especially just as an example, there, it was all pretty brutal in the second half. But, but I'm like thinking about this. Like, what is that? That almost feels like... And then the chorus comes in. So it's almost like shedding. That's like the shedding part, just in my head canon. There's a crescendo in here. And then this. So these are just like really big open chords. Like they just feel really spaced out. And I'm trying to think about why the sopranos kick in because there must some sort of be some sort of narrative reason for that. But uh, but it really does feel like um, it could also be like a giant, like a, a giant explosion or something, because it does sound explosive. But it's almost like, yeah, I'm really gonna stick to this idea of shedding, shedding oneself and becoming something different. Uh, and that's that's what I'm taking from Bale. It's a, it's a nice theme. I mean, it, again, I, I think I think as I've been listening to these, the Lord of Frenzy Flame has certainly been the most interesting musically to me. But uh, but this one was nice. This one's uh, surpassed a little bit some of my expectations. If you like this sort of stuff, there's more Elden Ring and certainly more Shadows of the Air Tree to come. If you like this sort of stuff, feel free to like, subscribe, and as always, thanks a ton, and I'll see you later. Bye.